down. Maybe that's why Defender is working up. Remember that command where I tried to disable firewall? Well, that also got in a, us in a alert here, the disable firewall here. So let's check it out. Hello and welcome to IT Security Labs. Today I'm going to show you how to bypass Windows Defender using a NIM reverse shell. This is going to be a very simple reverse shell that we can run on our Windows system and get a reverse shell without Defender even flagging it, both at execution and also when we drop it to disk. So without wasting time, let's jump in. This is my Kali Purple machine. At the end of the video, we are going to check if Elastic Sim even detected. So we have two scenarios. My setup consists of our Kali Purple lab with a Windows 10 client. One of the clients here just says Windows Defender enabled. We're going to make sure that we put the latest definitions. And then we have another one with Windows Defender and an Elastic Agent. That Elastic Agent is sending all the logs to our Elastic Sim where we have some rules for detection. So if you are interested in learning about detection, how detection works at the same time while beating Defender, this is going to be the best video for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to go to this repo here. This is by SN1R and they created a simple NIM reverse shell. This is very inspiring for me because I was writing, writing this in C sharp. Here is a simple NIM one. I saw John Hammond mention NIM last week and I thought, why not look for one? So here's our source code. As you can see, it's very simple. We're just importing the required packages, net, OS, OS proc, and try utils. And from there, we just go ahead and define our variables. First, we need a Windows socket so that we can just connect to the victim. And for that connection to work, we're going to need a port and an IP address. So we're going to change this port, this IP address here to be our Kali Linux. We're going to change this port to be something more interesting, maybe 80, 443, or maybe 53, but I'll probably go with 443 just to make sure that we have uh, the required one. Then here, if someone types exit, it will actually write exiting. Uh, otherwise, if you change directories, it will change the directories. And as well as it looks like here, it actually goes in a tiny little loop and waits for commands to be ran. So nothing really interesting here. It's a very basic shell and we use this basic shell to disable Windows Defender at the end. And that should definitely generate our alerts here if this works. So you might be wondering, how do we actually work with this? Well, first, we need to just clone this repo, the repo to our attacker Kali machine. So I'll just come here and say git clone. And we just give them this cd to nim reverse shell. Then here we need to modify a couple parameters. I'm using nano and I'm going to change this to be the IP address of my Kali Linux. So let's verify what the IP address is. It's 192.168.38.170. So 170. And for port, I'm going to change it from 8080 to 443. Was I mean business. Control X. All right, that's it. Now we need to compile this on our Kali Linux. You may need to do an apt install nim to make sure that you have nim installed on your system. So once you do an apt install nim, we need to compile this project so that we can get an executable, a .exe file. In order for us to do that, they actually tell us. Unfortunately, we have to set it up as a GUI application but the good thing is it just pops up and goes away it doesn't actually stick as a graphical user interface so let's run this and of course we're going to rename our payload instead of rev shell we name it something like update or something like that so if i come back here i'm going to use min gw to compile and after that i end up with rev shell.exe this rev shell.exe i'm going to move it pack update.exe. Okay, so now I need to move this file to my victims. Remember, our network diagram is victim one with just a defender and victim two with the elastic agent. Let's see. If we beat defender, fine. If we beat elastic agent, then we know something is really working correctly here. And I'm hoping it works on both. So here, Win client 02, this is the one with elastic agent. You can tell here because I have the agent on the desktop. 
let's check um window security this is going to tell us whether or not we have defender uh, enabled so if i go to virus and threat protection and i say manage settings notice that real-time protection is on cloud delivered protection is on i need to disable this so that they don't collect my payloads otherwise this should still detect temper protection is on let's see and this uh, is updating automatically we can also force an update right now to see if everything works but right now i, th I think this is uh, the latest definition so let's leave it that way then let's go to win client 0201 and this win client 01 just says windows defender so if i search for security virus and threat protection let's make sure that everything is done and as you can see we have everything checked except for that one so next you might be wondering what kind of what versions of windows am i running this is windows 10 pro so let me show you and mo both machines are running the same version of windows just so that the comparison is good so as you can see here this is going to be uh, windows 10 pro and this build number here and this is pretty much one of the latest ones all right now that we have everything there this is with just defender i'm going to bring down my payload i'm going to use scp here and th this time we're going to root at 192.168.38.170 that's my kali then we need to find out where the payload is nim reverse.shell and then the file name that we created pack update pack update.exe right so i want it, it, it to work okay let's go to the desktop so that the file is on the desktop let me, then let me check scp oh i need to say be here then the password all right pack update.exe is on the desktop and as you can see here let me move myself out of the way windows defender should have popped up down here but as you can see nothing so this is the machine with just windows defender let's set up a listener neck lvnp on 443 and then let's run it it's spinning and we have a reverse shell if i say where am i this is going to probably trigger an alert in elastic sim but it, this one is just defender so nothing is going to work here i mean nothing is going to be logged here it just says client vagrant host name client 01 so we got a reverse shell and not even a blip from windows defender that was on machine with windows defender we can actually do go back here to security and see if we can do a scan If we do a quick scan here just in case it catches it we'll see what happens and here the virus definitions are up to date they were updated today this morning so we are good so in this bypasses defender and we get a minimal shell and here is where things get fun can this elastic sim catch it if you want you can set up your own elastic sim i have videos on this channel and this is what i'm why i make these videos I have both defender and an elastic sim we need to create some rules in elastic sim if it doesn't catch it so that we can catch this particular payload for defenders but for now let's use out of the box i have all the rules enabled including machine learning here so let's see if it actually catches it and that machine is win client 2 with elastic agent here we're going to do the same scp command let's go to desktop so scp and we're going to need pack update.exe and i'm putting it here on the desktop uh it needs my password all right so usually when you drop a payload on windows on, on the disk windows defender will scan it and catch it right away as you can see here this payload is happy as can be even elastic agent is not even making a blip here so let's see if we can run it here's our listener 
and here I'll just run it. This is the one with Elastic Agent, so we should see something here. Let's do a quick refresh. All right. So while Windows Defender did not catch it, here we see already that something is happening. Where am I? Process activity. Let's see. Where am I? That gets caught, as you can see right here. If you run where am I? It's but this is going to be very noisy in a big environment. So should we worry about this? Let me know in the comments if you're a defender and you do blue team work. I feel like this is not sufficient enough to wake up the defenders by just that alone. So this enumeration of privilege group membership, this is where when you do something like who am I slash priv. This will also trigger silly things. Okay. Let's assume you're an attacker and you know not to run silly commands like who am I and you maybe find this information somehow. But sure enough, you are going to do something like this, aren't you? Disable firewall defender because we don't like defender. For the OSEP, this was my go-to. I know for a fact this has generic rules out there. Let's see. Since defender failed us, why not just disable it? At this point, I just want to cause problems uh, is this because I'm not writing in PowerShell I probably need let me launch PowerShell can I actually launch PowerShell in this limited NIM shell we might actually kill it uh, if it dies then we will just stop there let me change this to the last one hour update that Okay, so it's only seeing the commands that we ran. And of course, you cannot run PowerShell with this, we found out. So let me get it back again so I can see what else I can do. Okay, somebody ate my payload. It used to be here. Now it's not. What could have happened? I know I ran PowerShell. Did that trigger something? If I go back to the client with just Windows Defender, it's still there. But here, when I started running commands, something chewed it. So uh, before I bring in a new one, let me see if I get a new alert here. So it looks like Elastic Agent caught up with us as we were trying to do the commands execution. And this is why we do this, this lab here. Weird enough, I don't see any alerts here other than these uh, for enumeration. So let's bring it back. This time we'll watch it closely. Oh, look who woke up. Look who woke up after doing some things. Defender is up. Okay. So you get you get one shot. You run it, it works, it's stable, and you do all your shenanigans. After a while, Defender will catch it. All right. So now Defender doesn't like it anymore. But we saw that with this one here, we can get a shell right now. As long as we don't start running malicious, funny little commands and uh, calling PowerShell like I did, we should be fine. So this is not foolproof, right? I mean, if you get a reverse shell, then start doing messy things like running PowerShell using these things might go bad. So what can we do? Maybe we use that shell to get another payload. This time, maybe a DLL, DLL file that we inject into an existing process or something fun like that. But for now, here is another proof that we actually get a shell and it works. So you get one shot. Make sure to use this wisely. The mo most important question is, since Defender is now awake, which is a classic thing, Ah, maybe that's why Defender is working up. Remember that command where I tried to disable firewall? Well, that also got in a, as an alert here, the disable firewall here. So let's check it out since we're already there. 
this is definitely going to look for it's looking for the net 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 sh command so i was silly i was foolish i tried to disable firewall with a very very suspicious looking process that was spun by nim but hey i didn't do it justice this is the rule that caught us and we learned something here so thank you for being here if you like this type of content please let me know give me a thumbs up share this video comment here what i could have ran after this and also anything that you want to see in this series otherwise we're going to build up to a point where we end up building our own payloads but i hope showing you how this works is helping and you can become maybe a malware developer who knows and i also get better so thank you for being here and i hope to see you next time